Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in the Bush Trip Interstate 5 series by Perfect Flight. And we are working on part one, Blaine de Kelso. And today we will do the third leg, which will complete part one. So we are flying from Gray Air Force Base down to Kelso. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on it. And when I'm in the cockpit, uh, I will uh, catch back up with you and we'll uh, take off from there. Okay, I am back in the cockpit. I have got my uh, uh, setup. I've uh, got my elevation set up to 2,000 uh, foot uh, elevation is what we've been flying at. Now, as we get down into Oregon, we're going to be flying a bit higher than that, especially in Southern Oregon. And uh, I've also got uh, everything set up so that uh, once we uh, get started, we'll uh, get uh, be able to turn the autopilot on. Now we are facing uh, a little more towards the north. And so we will need to be swinging around to catch up to where we can get uh, on our uh, trip. So I have uh, got everything set up and we're ready to take off. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, again, it's gonna tell me that my brake is on, but I like to do that for the run up. So let's get started here. Okay, here we go. coming on here pretty quick. We'll pull this down. We are going to start swinging around. And we go ahead and bring our flap up. Once we get kind of turned around here, and of course completing a bush trip without getting the back. Alright, let's do this. Let's go ahead and get our autopilot After going. After takeoff, fly eastward and reach Olympia, the capital city of the state of Washington. Olympia has a rich cultural and political history with several historical landmarks and museums that showcase the city's past. The city is also known for its beautiful scenery and outdoor recreation opportunities, including hiking, boating, and fishing. There are several parks and natural areas in the city, including the 3,700-acre Capitol State Forest and the 190-acre Priest Point Park. Olympia is home to several colleges and universities, including the Evergreen State College St. Martin's University and South Puget Sound Community College. And there you can see the uh, Olympia area and right there is the capital. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to see the capital when we fly over, uh, but we are going to be kind of heading, we're heading out obviously in this direction. When she was talking about the capital forest, that is this area right here. And one of those is Capitol Peak. The, let me go outside of the cabin. There we go get a little better view of it out here so this really is we're getting into my old stomping grounds where I grew up uh, this particular stretch or this particular leg from Olympia on down to Kelso uh, I know this area pretty, or I used to know the area pretty well I should say this is where I grew up this is where I uh, went to school and graduated from high school from community college and so, uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, a nice trip for me. So I'm going to kick back and let you guys enjoy the flight. And uh, uh, when the next narration comes on, uh, I will uh, let you uh, listen to it.
it actually is Olympia, and there is the Capitol building right there. Kind of see it, and I think we are going to get another narration. pronounces it Shahalas, but uh, growing up and when I lived there in that area, it was called Shahalas. That's how we pronounced it. So, uh, probably just a uh, uh, you know, difference in uh, how you want to pronounce stuff. Anyway, back outside, so you can kind of see more of the uh, scenery out here. Vine, uh, again, is just a little south of Centralia Chehalis, and we'll go back outside the cabin, and this is the Centralia Chehalis area as we're coming up into this area up in here. Now, as we get down around this area right here, you're going to see a airport, that's this uh, KCLS, that is the uh, Chehalis Centralia Airport, and this is where I went to school. Uh, great school uh, in Central Chehalis, Rochester, which is about five miles away. I graduated from high school and I attended Central Community College here and graduated from there in 1974. So kind of give you an idea of how long it's been since I've been back to here and just kind of the uh, area that I grew up in. So enjoy the flight and we will... Uh, Catch up with you at the next uh, narration point. It is 
is a popular tourist destination known for its natural beauty and outdoor recreation opportunities. Visitors can enjoy hiking, fishing, camping, and other outdoor activities in and around the city. Oh, as you can see, the uh, we're still following I-5. You also, uh, you might notice the weather is clear today. I, uh, one of the things I kind of figured out was that uh, they had set this up for live weather. And if you know anything at all about the Pacific Northwest, it's all going to be cloudy and rainy. And that's a shame because there's just so much natural beauty up here to see. If we look off over here, that is Mount St. Helens. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to... Uh, kick back and uh, let you enjoy. Washington Airport is located in Kelsoan, primarily serves the lower Columbia region. The airport has a single runway and handles general aviation and cargo operations. Okay, so we next next stop is our airport that we're going to be landing at. Uh, let's see, let me hop outside here real quick and I'll kind of show you what going to be right up in this area right here so we will take over here and uh, swing around so that we can land coming in uh, I believe it is uh, somewhere around heading east or south southeast uh, I can't remember the exact runway but I know uh, the direction that we've got to come in and land down it so uh, go ahead and finish enjoying the trip and I'm going to be hopping inside here pretty quick and start getting ready to, to land. about time to hop inside the cabin. I just wanted to point out this river we've been following is the Calitz River and then that's the Columbia over there. So let me hop inside and we will start uh, taking over here. Get things turned off. Turn that off. Uh, turn that off. And that off. And we need to start swinging around. down here a little bit and our airport is just off to our left get a uh, flap down I might have put that flap down a little too early all right to get slowed down here Get down into 
altitude a little bit. That's okay. We're good. We can kind of get swung back around here. There's our airport like straight ahead. Oh, let's get lined up here. One thing with the 208, it's pretty uh, flexible. It's going to let you be able to make pretty good maneuverability. Still just a little bit high, but not too bad. That's the thing. The 208, you can just kind of drop right on in. thing I've learned with this 208 it does not turn on a dime so we'll go up to the next one and roll on out and then that will conclude uh, like three of part one so while we're going up here uh, so our next leg will be uh, uh, leg one of part two which will be going down through Oregon and there's four legs in that uh, part and so uh, we'll be taking off from this airport. I haven't looked to see what next airport we're going to be flying into. Uh, but again, it's going to be some of the same type of scenery that you're seeing here. All right, let's see if we can get this thing turned. Like I said, it does not turn on a dime. That is as... All right, we're just going to park it right here. I don't know why this doesn't turn but there we are leg complete uh so again as i was saying this is uh the interstate uh washington uh or interstate five uh bush trip by perfect flight and uh we've just completed the washington state portion of it and next time it's going to be into oregon state uh so let's click on next and here's our here is our statistics for this flight. And so, uh, yeah, I think we will uh, call it good right here. So if you like this uh, video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That will really help out the channel. And uh, ring that bell. It, I'll let you know when I am uh, uploading new videos. And I'm doing that pretty much on a weekly basis. Okay, all you flight simmers out there, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.